All right, good morning, buddy. Uh, this is El Paso, Texas, and uh, well, I'm on my infectious disease rotation, so leave me a little later than you normally would, but this is El Paso around 7.50 in the morning, and this is my view every day. I get to see the mountains in my parking lot, and I've been here for about two years now. It doesn't get old. And so this morning, this is how we're gonna start our day. We will visit the ED. Uh, we will see what's going on, on the floor and I'll show you the right over. See you in there. Well, if only I can get to work as quick as that montage was. <laughs> um, that ride was about 20 minutes from where I live. I live on the west side. Uh, I am currently on the roof of the parking garage. Wish the view appears not too bad as well. And not too bad finding parking today. So that's a good sign. Uh, now we're walking to the hospital and we'll see uh, who's working today. Who would like to stop by and say hi. Okay, so we're here in the ED. We'll say hi, everybody. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Uh, all right. This here is one of our fast tracks. So we have one, two, and three, and this is where we meet one of our first residents. Good luck to him. All right, we're here with Dr. Ali Lee. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? Okay, okay. So, so how's the ED rotation going for you so far? Uh, it's been good. I like the ED. I did ED back in Egypt as well. So it's okay. kind of uh, my thing. Uh, here we have about 10 beds in the emergency room. Yeah. Uh, it varies in acuity. We see level twos to fours of trauma. We see level one trauma on the UFC side, which is the adult side. Um, this is the fast track, which I think Adrian already introduced it, which is kind of the where the MPs and PAs usually lie, but we can actually catch up if we're only in the shift. Uh, we have amazing attendings over here, multiple exposures. We see many variety of patients. Um, it's very interesting. Yeah, you know, maybe we're lucky enough to meet some of those attendings, depending how camera shy they are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dr. Royal. Oh, hey, Adrian. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy today? Uh, not yet. It's still the morning, but okay. you know, we don't use any of the those stuff over here in the yard. We keep it quiet. Excellent. <laughs> it's a, and I know we're uh, we're filming a video for our new applicants. Okay. Anything you want to share about the program or about the ED? Yeah, I mean, it's a great program. You guys, I work with you guys every single shift, essentially, unless there's a family medicine resident, but directly mm -hmm. working with the pediatric residents. Um, allowing you guys to take histories, physicals, assessments, procedures, everything from LPs, suture repairs, intubations. Yeah. So. Excellent. All right. Well, I appreciate you. I'm going to start running around the hospital and yeah. bother other people, but thanks for your time. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. And we have our nurses hard at work. Say, hey, everybody, good morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. So we'll keep on walking by. Looks like everybody's doing pretty good so far. Oh man. Oh, there's more residents right now. Hi, Andrea. All right, we'll keep on walking by. All right, so it turns out we could not go to the resident room because there's a few uh, MRNs that go violate the HIPAA violation. So I actually brought one of our residents, uh, KB here, uh, one of my colleagues. And I just wanna ask you, how's your day going? Pretty good so far, pretty good so far. It's been a, it's been a pretty productive morning yeah. so far. Um, yeah, how about you? No, it's, it's going great. And the, I saw you were kind of running on your own. I guess that's our 
uh, privilege as a third year to kind of yes actually yeah. it's, it's been one of the one of the best things about this year uh, because it allows me to you know yes it, 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 it'll, I'm rounding by myself I don't necessarily have someone who's standing there with me to have my back in that moment but if yeah. there's any if there's any concerns that I have if there's anything that I need to work on if I, you know, I can always go to Dr. Gutierrez, Dr. Moreno, Dr. Lamas and make sure that I'm that I'm okay with that they're okay with my plans um, but it also allows me to have the autonomy that I need yeah. to really gain that confidence to be able to talk to families about you know the full plan long-term care mm -hmm. it, it's it's nice getting to feel like a pretending yeah yeah no and that, that's awesome and just you know a little better okay so tell me what is your favorite Lord of the Rings quote ooh um potatoes okay. before the mushroom stick them in a stew all right mm -hmm. the last question I have for you what is your favorite date what does your favorite date look like okay um I would have to say April 25th okay. because it's not too hot it's mm -hmm. not too cold all you really need is a light jacket yeah yeah excellent mm -hmm. that's our talk with KB let's keep looking around the hospital Well, thank y'all for joining me. All right, how's so the day's going okay? So tell me what you like about the NICU. Oh, NICU. NICU is a good place to do procedures. Um, you get a lot of intubations and stuff, mm -hmm. and the the thrill of going to like a crash delivery and stuff. Okay, cool. I also enjoy the procedures and coming up with um, our plans every day. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I, I have a. A fun question to ask you, actually. All right. So, you're, let's say you're in a scary movie, right? Uh-huh. And you're, like, the main character. Okay. So, it's a two-part question. A, do you prefer to be the killer in the movie or oh. the victim? Uh-huh. And then B is, like, what would you do, depending on what role you choose for question A? Oh, um, probably the victim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then... You know what I'm going to ask you. Let's see. <laughs> How do you like your wings, Nicole? <laughs> it's sauceless wings. It's sauceless. <laughs> flavorless. Flavorless. As flavorless. some may call <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to tease that fact out. Yeah, I thought it would be interesting for everybody to know. Very good. Well, uh, I hope this was informative for everybody. Um, but it sounds like the NICU is uh, under good hands right now. Um, and yeah, yeah thank y'all. Babies are safe. Okay? Yeah, thankfully. Yeah. All right. Can't wait to meet you guys. <laughs> and let me know how do you have your wings. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> All righty. And but we also interview other people other than residents. So you want to introduce <laughs> yourselves? I am Cynthia Guevara. I'm the NICU dietitian and coordinator of clinical nutrition services for the hospital. So if you end up here, you'll see a lot of me. You'll get tired of me. <laughs> Eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jackie. I'm the clinical pharmacist here in the NICU. Very good. See, so how do y'all's interaction with the residents, like how, what is your day-to-day -day, uh, involvement with the residents? So, weesh, I do a lot of lectures with the residents and we do a lot of like day-to-day -day teaching too. Honestly, both of us do them, I feel like. And then we round with you guys. Um, so there's, we have two teams, I don't know if this has been addressed, but we have two teams running in the NICU at all times, and so we try to like tackle that. And we're around with the team that has residents, obviously. Um, so we're, we're around, we help out during rounds, we're there for, as a resource. So we interact a lot with residents. Yeah, and for a lot of the orders that the residents put in, I usually kind of give them a call and just clarify that they wanted what they ordered. <laughs> and thank <laughs> goodness you do. <laughs> like, yes. Well, we don't She'll assume. Save you guys. <laughs> we don't assume well, things are licensed. Well, you all save us, like, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> and yeah, I won't hold you up from too much longer in your work time. Thank oh, you all. We're so busy right now. So. I am. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, everybody, this is my lunch today. Today is chicken tender day, and you can see it is a worldly phenomenon here. Uh, this is something to look forward to, uh, and yeah, we'll continue to look around the hospital. Hi, you're going again. <laughs> okay, so this is day two of our tour. A couple of the services are busy, so, but we'll continue to show you, I guess, how everybody's doing on the floor. We're currently in the stairwell right now. Uh, I take the stairs pretty frequently, because well, it's the only size I get, um, admittedly. 
And right now we're going to the 10th floor, which is the PICU. So let's go by and see how everybody's doing. Over here, so this is our PICU floor and our rocket. And there's Dr. Kopsik. Hello, Dr. Kopsik. Hey. <laughs> he says hi, we'll probably get a talk with him later. Let's see how everybody else is doing over here. Okay, and this is our PICU. Hi everybody, how y'all doing? Good. Let's see, uh, I'm just kind of walking around and seeing how everybody's doing. Um, how's the day? I didn't do my hair today. You didn't do your hair today? Well, let me, oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, cool. So any uh, cool cases going on today? Always, always so fun times up here. Pinky's the best. We're in the penthouse. <laughs> top floor, top floor. You can show them the beautiful view we have. The W view? Yeah, check the view. So this here is actually one of the rooms here. Oy. Strong, we have a... A bed, uh, each floor has stars along with a TV. And then this is actually outside to the high school that's nearby the hospital. Um, and actually right there at the red X is actually Juarez, Mexico. So we have a good view of uh, El Paso and uh, Juarez as well. So Adrian, I was thinking since mm -hmm. residency is really busy and you right. didn't get a chance to do your hair this morning. Yeah. Well, that maybe we'd help you out. Sure. Oh, <laughs> you know, not my what? first that choice. That's actually not better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> it's all right. So what are some of the things you treat in a PICU? Um, you know, every day has been different. We respond to the level one traumas. Um, so you get to see kind of all the traumas that happen. We'll have DKA. We have respiratory cases. Um, when we have to escalate care, um, we'll respond to the rapids um, throughout the hospital too. So. It's really been different every single day. Yeah. And then, so I'm gonna ask you this fun question: Is you're from California? Yeah. All right. How many burgers are better than the In-N-Out Burger you're used to in California here in El Paso? Zero. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And how do you get your In-N-Out Burger? <laughs> I get it animal style. Mm -hmm. I can do a cheeseburger animal style. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend. And then, what do you think about Water Burger here? No comment. <laughs> There is good food here, I swear. Um, and so I think we're good here in the PICU. Let's go ahead and stop by uh, somewhere else. I can't think I'll edit somewhere. Let's go ahead and go on to the next place. Okay, everybody. Okay, now we're actually in the nursery where we can meet the nursery team. Let's see if we can find them. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. We have our radiant warmers with no babies, fortunately. Um, this is... The CCHD, our algo, our CCHD machines, uh -huh. and titles. Is and it the grand tour? This is the office <laughs> where the magic happens. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alrighty, so how is y'all's day going? It's been good. Yeah? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and uh, can you tell me, what are some things you see in the nursery? Babies. Lots of cute babies. <laughs> Very good. Um, and then one fun question I want to ask y'all. If you were an ice cream, what kind of ice cream would you be and why? I like Rocky Road. I was going to say that. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 what? No, because I was like, it offers a lot of things. Yeah. Like you've got the chocolate, yeah. you've got your nuts, you got your marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. 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 Clearly. <laughs> Alrighty, well, uh, before I head out, or is there anything you'd like to say before I go, or to say to the applicants? I mean, Good luck you guys got this. Okay. I mean, you've already seen our crib, so go on, get out. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. <laughs> so, how's your day going? It's, it's going pretty well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, any cool cases you've seen uh, this week in the Hemoc? Yeah, sure. um... Well, a couple, couple uh, bread and butter uh, hemon cases like uh, leukemias. We saw plenty of leukemias. Um, but what's really cool is we have a patient with HLH mm -hmm. um, due to his current TB infection. Um, and then I know we heard a little bit of what we see and stuff. Uh, I want to ask you a fun question though. Yeah, what's up? Say, so, okay, so who is your favorite Marvel character? So, what people may not know is that the Kool-Aid Man is actually a Marvel character. He has a comic from the 80s, 
in which he was fighting little thirsties. Um, this comic goes for about two thousand um, dollars, and as a resident, unfortunately, I can't afford it right now. But um, I get my share of Kool Aid by drinking it. So. <laughs> Looks like you're all having fun. Yes, a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah, tell me about your day. Has your day been going okay? Uh, yes. We work a lot, but we have fun. <laughs> all right, Luciano, thank you for taking time to talk to me. How's your day going? Good. Good? <laughs> yeah, especially that last part. Yeah. Very funny. And then, just for the applicants, uh, what kind of things do you see in the HEMOC floor? Yeah, we see a lot of... Um, patients with malignancy uh, during their induction and maintenance treatment phase. Uh, we also see the patients when they are um, a lot of immunosuppressive that mm -hmm. they come with some infection through our ED, which is already um, um, specialist in recognize those patients and know exactly what to do and collect all the labs they need to uh, differentiate between a sepsis uh, uh, problem or not. And um, uh, very interesting patients too, like uh, um, iron anemia patients that come with the four <laughs> of hemoglobin or and um, some other patients like autoimmune patients, also HLA, lymphohistiocytosis, and infections for sure that are always in the differential. So brain tumors, uh, they have a very nice um, uh, meeting on Friday's noon, which is the board uh, tumor, mm -hmm. where they discuss there's pathology, uh, there's um, brain uh, neurosurgery, there's uh, hemon doctors, and um, <clears throat> they discuss uh, sometimes ophthalmologists, whatever they need to be, to get together to discuss uh, better outcomes, better treatments, better way to evaluate, so it's very, very nice. So it's a very good service to be on. Good. <laughs> And then I'll ask you a fun question. So who is your favorite Marvel character? Oh, Thor. Thor. <laughs> <laughs> They're very good. Well, thank you for stopping by. I know you're on a busy service. So I'll let you get on with your day, but thank you for talking to me. Thank you. See you guys. Bye-bye.